it is time to white balance our pocket cinema camera. So what, what is white balance? What are we doing here? Well, we talked about color temperature with lights, right? And it's measured in Kelvin. Lighting basically goes from an orange color to a blue color. And so the orange is a lower Kelvin and the cool blues are a higher Kelvin. And different light sources give off different color temperatures. So the point of white balancing your camera is to let the camera know what true white is in a certain scenario so that it can accurately balance the image for you. Now, sometimes you may not want that. You might want it to look very cool and not have the camera correct it, or you might want it to look really warm. So there's different scenarios that you just need to be aware of and decide when to use white balancing and when not to. So first, let's just take a look at what the, how you implement white balance on the pocket cinema camera. On the LCD display on the top right, you'll see a WB for white balance. And if you tap that, you get a menu on the bottom. Your pocket cinema camera comes with some white balance presets, and then it has CWB, which is custom white balance, and then AWB, which is auto white balance. So let's take a look at these. It begins with 5600K, which is considered bright sunlight, but these are just presets. Sure, at some point during the day, the sun might ring in at an exact 5600 Kelvin, but as soon as it starts to set or maybe on its way up, it's not gonna be an exact 5600K. So some of these presets are just running gun things. If you're outside and you don't have time to white, do a custom white balance, you just say, hey, I'm in 5600K, let's go for it, right? The next one is 3200 Kelvin. So that's like incandescent bulbs, tungsten lights, thing lights that give off a warm glow like lamps in your home. But again, lamp bulbs vary greatly and so it's not always gonna be an exact 3200 Kelvin. You get it. Fluorescent, it's saying 4000 Kelvin. The next option is 4500 Kelvin and that's kind of a mixed lighting scenario. So maybe you have some warm tungsten lights but some daylight coming in, whatever. Just a preset for that. And then the last one they have here is clouds at 6500 Kelvin, we're leaning cool. So what's the camera doing when we say, hey, 6500 Kelvin? It's balancing the image, it's adding some orange, some warmth there to balance things out so that the footage doesn't come out all super cool on you, right? Custom white balance allows you to set a specific color temperature and you can even change the tint. The tint is on the right here. I, I never mess with the tint. So that's something that I would just change in post if I need to change it at all but you can change the tint and the color temperature. And then the custom white balance that you set will be saved even when you power cycle the camera. Auto white balance will tell you exactly what color temperature you're shooting at. And you, when you hit that, there's a little square that shows up on the screen. And what you need to do is just take a white piece of paper and set that in the squared image on your set and then hit update white balance. And it's gonna tell you exactly what color temperature you're shooting in and then it dumps you into a custom white balance mode so that's saved for you, you know, if you power the camera down, etc. So basically, let me go back to the auto white balance. So when you set the white paper there, you're telling the camera, hey, this is white. And then the camera says, oh, okay. So I'm gonna adjust all of this comfort color temperature accordingly because I know what true white is supposed to look like or I know what a true neutral is supposed to look like. I even read on the Blackmagic manual that you could even use like a gray card, which I've never heard that before, but they're saying you can, so whatever. Or maybe a light gray card. But I would just use something white. So with all of that, do we need to white balance? An actual DP might say yes, absolutely all the time. I don't know what they would say, but here's what I'm saying. If you're shooting in black magic raw, which I think you always should be doing, we've talked about that already, the white balance, the color temperature information is not baked into your footage, it's metadata attached to the footage. So what does that mean? It means you can take those raw files into Resolve and change the color temperature easily. Now, if you were shooting in ProRes or you're shooting on another camera where it's baking that color temperature info into the footage, that's a different story. And correcting that later could be a huge challenge, okay? so. I'm gonna show you how to do it in Resolve. We'll, we'll do more of this in post-production. I just want you to see it in action. But when I was shooting Reckoning, I didn't white balance one time that I remember. And a lot of the cabins and locations I was, indoor locations I was shooting at had a lot of woodwork. So I'm getting a lot of orange color temperature coming in on my footage. But in Resolve, I just say, hey, I wanna cool this up. And it just does it for me. It's amazing. So we're gonna look at that in a second. But when, when would be a time that would be good to white balance? For example, let's say you had an external monitor 
and you had loaded a LUT on to the camera because you wanted to see with a certain LUT what the footage was going to look like later in post. Well, that's a time when you definitely want to white balance because you want to see what it's going to look like. And if you don't white balance, you're not going to truly see what the footage will look like later on. So that's, for me personally, that's the main reason to white balance raw footage on the Pocket Cinema 4K is if I'm wanting to see on a monitor what it's going to look like later so that I can make creative decisions with my lighting on set. Not, not getting exposure, I'm getting exposure other ways, but just it might make me change something if I see the actual color temperature. Outside of that, I typically don't see a reason to mess with it. So let's take a look at Resolve and we'll see what this looks like. So here's a shot from one of our primary shooting locations. And you can see it's got a really orange kind of yellow tint to the footage, right? I'm gonna to go to the color page by hitting Shift 6 and then I'm going to click on the camera icon down on the lower left. And for decode using, I'm going to change that to clip. And now I get to tweak a lot of the information with this raw file, which is super cool. I'm going to go over to color temp and I'm going to change that. And then you can see how easy this is to change the look. So again, if you want a white balance, especially auto white balance on set, that's always great. Okay, your, your footage will start out closer to what you want it to look like. The presets to me are just for run and gun. It's a shot in the dark. It's never gonna be that exact color temperature. So I'm not sure that I would use those very much unless again, I'm trying to see something on the monitor and I don't have time to auto white balance and I can just choose one of those. That makes sense. But other than that, just be aware that if you're shooting in Blackmagic RAW, you do have the luxury of changing that later on. So hopefully this makes sense. If you have any questions, please post in the community and I will see you in another production lesson soon.